Good morning everyone on YouTube. Dickers World here from the Netherlands. Today I'm pretty excited because today for the first time I will use my new PI detector on the beach. As you could see in my uh, other video, it's the C-Scope 4PI. I uh, heard some great stories about this machine. It's a very cheap PI and yeah, quality is good. The coil is extremely light, unbelievable, and it has great depth. So let's see, it's uh, low tide within I think another two hours. I see some nice low spots over there. I will only search the wet sand today and see how the PI performs here on our beaches. I just found a nice low spot over here. That's where I will start. And there's another ripple trough here, right here, all the way to there. Its conditions are extremely rough again today. A lot of wind. I just dug my first target here in the wet. What do we have here? Part of a key. Nice. Gave a good signal. piece of copper. I'm doing okay but I'm finding extremely small pieces of iron like this. Already found a lot of nails but I'm still in the learning curve. I think it takes at least 30-40 hours before I start to recognize the signals this machine makes. But so far it works great. Deep 2, I had to abandon a couple of holes that kept filling in, were just too deep. Just dug another piece of iron. Extremely dangerous for kids, things like this. I just managed to find my first coin. This, but it looks like an old Dutch 10 cent coin. Perhaps it's a 1 euro cent coin. But it looks like, like one of those magnets for on your refrigerator. And this is a old 5 cent piece, before we had the euro coins, copper. Here's another tent pack, I think you call it. I think I already found five of these today. And here is a nail clipper, stainless steel. So here is today's roundup. I only searched for two hours and I found a lot of stuff, a lot of iron. Uh, this machine goes extremely deep but is extremely sensitive on iron. I found a lot of nails, screws, pieces, big pieces of iron, big nails too. Um, and I also found this nail clipper, bottle cap, this thing is for on your fridge, little magnet, this is for shopping car, big piece of copper, a 10 cent piece before we had the euro. 
I thought this was a coin, but it isn't. I'm not sure what it is. Looks like from a jacket or something. And a two cent, a euro cent coin and a five cent coin. Normally I don't find these coins with the sovereign. But this machine picks up everything. I really like the machine, but you have to get used to digging so much iron. And um, it goes extremely deep. I even had to abandon several digs. I dug 10, 15 scoops and I still hadn't find it, found it. So uh, yeah, it goes extremely deep. Um, this machine of course has a learning curve. I think it takes at least 30, 40 hours to get used to the machine. It is possible to hear a difference between a large and a small piece of iron. So that's something, but yeah, it's it's really difficult. When you are used to a VLF discrimination machine, a PI is is really something else. Okay, the pros on this machine are it goes extremely deep. Um, and it's extremely light that's really a pro the cons are uh, I used this machine as a hip mount and I found out that the cable was a little bit too long I first had it wrapped around the stem but now I did it like this and now I hope the cable is long enough I think it's just about five six inches too short Okay, um, the cons are the armrest. I don't think the armrest is big enough. I will change this one for a model from a white metal detector. These are better. This one isn't good enough. Okay, um, the machine is, I think, extremely suited for using it in a ripple trough, not on the dry sand only used it on the wet sand close to the water's edge but it I think if you have a good ripple trough this will be a great machine okay now I hope you like the video see you next time perhaps with the sovereign or perhaps I take this machine to the beach again bye from the Netherlands